very wet day in the lower mainland of British Columbia. So a very average day in the lower mainland of British Columbia. I'm glad I'm not on flatbeds today. We gotta go deliver our last drop into Delta BC and then go just down the road to New Westminster, which is pretty much the same thing. I think it's all the same thing. Pick up a new load and book it home. Dear, oh dear, this is gonna be fun. All right, let's put our seatbelt on, buckle ourselves in so we don't fall out. Come on. Ah, oh, it's stuck in the door, that's why. Okay. Diesel, you ready? I'm ready. Turn our lights on because it's raining and people need to see us. Okay. There we go. Onwards and downwards towards the coast, closer to the coast. We're here in Langley, British Columbia, which isn't too far away from Vancouver. It's in the same neighborhood, same neck of the woods, if you ask me. Okay, let's do that. So the address I'm going to doesn't show up in Karen's database on my GPS, so I have to use Google. was us up there a second ago. We went over that bridge and around here. And now I'm in the dock being loaded. We've already unloaded. I'm at my loading appointment. Everything's going hunky-dory. It's been a good day other than the rain, but what do you expect? We're in Vancouver. It's very wet here. Think of Seattle. Just norther. Same thing. Same thing. We're only like, what, 400 kilometers from Seattle? I gotta ask my friend Troy. His wife uh, is from this area and she married him and he lives down just south of Seattle. Uh, so they drove back and forth all the time. I'm pretty sure he said it was four and a half hours. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, we're not too far away. Vancouver's right on the US border. Just right on the US border. So uh, this is one of those places where they told me to sit in my truck and twiddle my thumbs and do absolutely nothing while they do all the work. The last place I was at where I delivered, the reason I didn't talk to you until now was because they wanted me on the dock there doing all the work. So that one wanted me to do all the work, this one doesn't want me to do any of the work. I don't understand all of these new rules. Everybody's got different rules, but it's okay, I don't mind. Hey, I walked in there, I was ready to work. He says, no, no, you can just go wait in your truck. Don't have to tell me twice. Okay, I will go here, I will take my shoes off. I will kick my feet up and I will play games on my phone. How's that sound, dude? Sounds fantastic, man. Fantastic. It's very gloomy out here, eh? Very gloomy place, man. Very gloomy. 
but it never snows here or very rarely and if it does it's not real snow it just melts right away it's just temporarily white rain well diesel i don't know how long they're gonna take but at least we're in the dock we had to be here before two o'clock we got here at noon after we're done here we uh close the doors lock it up and book it back home let's see how far home is from here karen speak to me woman karen karen take me home take me home take me home La -da 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 -da. hey hey i told you to navigate why aren't you navigating just not navigating wake up karen come on there's stuff to complain about come on she's thinking thinking oh she's thinking of a second route now okay lots of thinking today thinking 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 okay so this is my route here so there's the u.s there's us we're going all the way back home over there we could either go through calgary the short way or we could take the long way and go through edmonton we'll take the fastest route and go through calgary proceed to the highlighted route that's a 2,319 kilometers. And uh, for those of you who don't speak metric, um, it's coming. Hold on. I've got to convert everything for you guys and your funny measurements. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. I'm just joking, by the way. Don't get mad at me. 2,000, what did I say? 2,319, 319 kilometers divided by 1.61. Someone asked me in my comment section last time, why do you divide it by 1.61? Because one mile equals 1.61 kilometers. 1,440 miles. We're gonna try to get it done in two days, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So it's Friday. I hear that there's a snowstorm in Calgary and up in the mountains, so we're going to be driving through a snowstorm. That's going to slow us down. So we're going to go Friday, and we'll be back Sunday sometime, but I might get back in time for our family gathering. You never know. I think we're ready to rock and roll here. I got my paperwork. I sent in all the messages I need to send in to let everybody everywhere know that I'm loaded. I'm on the way. I will be there Sunday afternoon is what I said. It might be a little earlier than that, but uh, Sunday afternoon I think would be a fair guesstimate at this point. I'll update them as they uh, as things progress. Apparently, like I was saying before, we might be hitting a snowstorm in the mountains. been here many times before. Do you know where we are? I'm hopeful that you know where we are. We're in Hope, BC, man. Hope, BC, where there's so much hope for this world. 
We need all the hope we can get in 2020. What a crazy year, eh? Just nuts. Just nuts. I posted something on Facebook that was hilarious yesterday. You guys probably saw it if you follow me there. Uh, let's see. I wanted to read it to you. It's funny. Okay. If 2020 was a math problem, this is what it would be. If you're walking on the ice cream at five ounces per toaster and your bicycle loses a sock, how much gravy will you need to repaint your hamster? <laughs> Pretty much sums up 2020. So I'm gonna go into Flying J here. I just fueled up. Uh, the truck's all ready to go through the mountains now. Uh, now I've got a shower up because uh, I need it. I always stop here for a shower on the way out anyways because the next shower I guess would be in Calgary, a clean shower that I know of. And I want to shower now. So we're gonna walk the weasel here. And did you know, hey, across the street from this new flying, uh, from this Flying J in Hope, BC, there's now an Esso truck stop. Now, Esso and Husky merged, remember? So now, since they merged, I guess they've just been expanding like crazy, and they've gotten these awesome truck stops, massive parking lot, at least twice the size of the Flying J across the street. So there's way more parking for us here now, which is awesome. Now we just need to figure out someone to get us that kind of parking closer to Vancouver. I'm talking like Langley, Delta, like big truck stops, but where are you gonna put them? Where are you? There's no space there. There's no room there. So I don't know. At least we got more parking here and they're building something over here as well. I don't know what's going on. They were so anti-dog. They, they didn't always have that, that chain link fence over there behind that beautiful Kenworth. They didn't always have that chain link fence there. They always had these signs though. Absolutely no dogs past this point. I don't know, I don't trust people that don't like dogs. I don't know. Are you gonna blink, Diesel? You dreaming about your girlfriend? Huh? Huh? Which one? Huh? Which one? <laughs> Get out of the shower! Been one guy in front of me for a long time, waiting for my shower. About to go in and wait inside in case this app is doing something weird it should tell me and notify me when the shower is available but this one person there's actually four people in there they're all taking a really long shower all right we're all finally showered up that took a little too long but that's okay at least we're clean that's what's most important i got some food got some milk got a coffee what else does a man need for a shower. I'm not sure how far we're going to get tonight. I really hope that, that snowstorm isn't actually happening. But, I don't know. I kind of think it is. <laughs> we're pretty heavy, so at least we'll have lots of traction. At 500 meters, take the entrance to the left on Highway 1, Highway 3, Highway 5, Trans Canada Highway. Wow. Got a mouthful there, Karen. See there's that new SO off to the right down there? On the other side of the highway? In 300 meters, take the entrance to the left on Highway 1, Highway 3, Highway 5, Trans Canada Highway. It looks like we got at least, I'd say what, 20 spots? 20 to maybe more, probably 30, 40 trucks, truck spots there. It's not the biggest of the big, but it adds quite a bit, seeing as there's so little in this area in the lower mainland. Come on, girl. Let's do this. Pull me over the mountains. Take me to the other side.
thousand pounds up the mountain. We'll see how fast your little car goes. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna need another gear yet. All right, we're going down. There we go. We're almost at the top here. It's always such a long hill. We're on the Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Or the Coca Cola. Whatever you want to call it. Highway through hell. able to show you guys a big snowstorm today. Nay, nay. Apparently not. You guys might have to wait till tomorrow to see the aftermath when we go through Calgary. I'd like to be able to get through Calgary tonight yet. I don't know if we're going to get that far. We've got, what, 7 hours, 18 minutes available to me to drive. So, I don't know. I mean, this scenery out here never gets old. 8% grade up ahead. So we should take it a little easy. Short and sweet today, but I'm tired. We made it to the Kicking Horse rest area on the other side of Golden, on the east side of Golden. Not gonna make it home tomorrow. <sighs> yep. Yeah. But we could probably make it to Balgoni or something. Maybe even Mooseman, who knows? I guess there'll be a lot more footage to get tomorrow too, because we'll be going out of the Rocky Mountains, into the foothills, across Alberta, across Saskatchewan. We've been in the mountains for a few days now. Maybe it'd be nice to switch it up a little bit and show you the prairies again, eh? <laughs> oh, man, my eyes are dry, they're tired. It's snowing outside, so I hope it's not gonna be snowing tomorrow. Tune in to find out. 